In this video, I want to talk briefly about the calendar improvements that we've made to FM Starting Point. Now, historically, we've had this calendar that was completely built in FileMaker using FileMaker fields and things. And while it worked kind of okay, it wasn't as cool and as groovy as some modern calendar features. And so what we've done is that we've left, for the time being, the old calendars function still in the software, but we have, by default, the system using the new calendar. So this new calendar system, you press the button here and it pops up this window, and we see that we have a weekly view, and if you stretch it down, you can't really see it very well, but on a larger screen, you can stretch it down vertically and it looks really nice. I can say, show me all events. While these events are color-coded, you can change these names to be other things, like if you want to do an installation or your field team was doing different things. So there's a category section to help you filter the activities, then also individual users. These individual users will be made up of the people in the staff database. So if I go over here to FM Starting Point, I hit Staff, and I see that I have five records. Basically, these are the people. So we assume that all the people have access to the calendar, and so you can identify over here which person that you're looking at. So if we want to look at Calvin's, we can see his activities. If we want to see Miles, we can see his activities or Steve's activities, etc. Obviously, most of these activities are set kind of generically. So I'm going to hit Show All Users, and it gives me a pretty good detail of that. I can also hit all categories, so it gives us a complete view. Now, what's cool about this is that we can actually click on these and edit the information and change it. I can also change the date and time here, but that's kind of a hassle. The other thing to do is actually grab it and drag it around and move it to wherever you want to move it to. It's super slick. And so there's a little bit of a flash while the data updates, and then I can click on this, and then I can also change the status to be you know, neon green or something like that, right? And I hit continue. And that changed the status of it to something that's really almost so bright that it hurts my eyes. Anyway, while we have them named as colors here, you can actually go in and change these categories to things that fit your needs. You can go under here, the Categories button at the top, and it's a card style window that pops up. We can change these. So what you want to do is, before you really start using the calendar heavily, you want to set these up. Once you have them going, you don't want to change them, ideally, you can change it, but then uh, potentially certain, some things may not show up. Like if this is pink and we have a bunch of pink things, then we change this to beavers instead of pink, then pink won't be in the menu anymore. I come down here, now we have beavers and pink is gone. So if we actually still had some other items that were listed as pink, they're not going to be here unless you show all categories. Some things like that, pretty straightforward. You can set the month view, week view, all these kinds of things here, very cool. To set the preferences on the calendar, you're going to go to the dashboard, you go to preferences, and conveniently enough, you hit the calendar button. Use the HTML calendar, this is the new one. If you say no, it'll use the old one that we have, which frankly, in of itself, is still pretty complicated. But it's still here. We didn't want to get rid of it in case someone was grossly in love with the old technology. There's also a default view here. So you can change the month, the default, or week, or day, or list, or whatever. So this is the default that you get when you first fire up the application. Understand that this calendar is based upon open source code from this company called Full Calendar LLC. They have a website. You can go to their website, check them out. But basically, they have a free open source calendar. And then they have a, another calendar, which has got Gantt charting capabilities are pretty amazing. This is not the calendar we have. We have the basic calendar, which is this one here. This is allows events to span across days, etc. It does all sorts of cool stuff. So anyway, this is their basic calendar. We've integrated this into FM Starting Point. So the calendar is available in the basic or free version of FM Starting Point. In another video, we're going to dive under the hood about how this works in more detail. So that should be enough to get you going, and I'll catch you in the next video.